We still don't know what this is. <laughs> we probably need to dig out another tile so we can look at it. But these days you need uh, a tenured scientist to analyze that stuff. So we definitely don't have one of those. So we might not even be able to use it. I don't know. I'm not sure how it works. Also, we've got a lot of thimble reeds up here. That we could use. And fungal spores. Oh, that's no good. But it can't get through here. There's not even any oxygen out here, so we should be fine out there. Insufficient oxygen generation. It looks fine to me. It looks really good. So, oh, we don't have a sous chef or chef. Oh, we have an apprentice chef. Is that what we have? Oh no, we don't actually have a chef. Okay, well, when we start getting more food, we'll hire a chef. I guess that's the next one that we need. Cool slush geyser. Cool slush? Periodically erupts with freezing crushed ice. Wow. Polluted water. Oh, it will produce dirty water. Huh. Ah, that's interesting. That's not necessarily a bad thing either. Um, we don't know the active period. It erupts for 501 seconds every 983 seconds. <laughs> but we don't know when exactly. That's really interesting. So we could definitely collect that. And seeing as it's cold, that would be useful to pump around the base. Oh well, I mean, it, it won't really cause any damage to pump that around. So... Hmm. Alright. Well, let's do that. We'll dig under it for sure. And I don't know how big it is. We'll leave it like that for now. We're going to want to close this off as well. We'll do that just in case some of it erupts. That's pretty cool. Are we... Getting more oxygen through a little bit. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> That's a bad thing. When you need sandstone, he just... You know what? We'll make it out of obsidian. Because we have obsidian there. Uh, obsidian... That should be a lot easier. And you know what? If we if it produces polluted water, we'll put these in there. That's an easy way of handling all that. What's in here? Carbon dioxide. Okay. We do need some more space though. To grow stuff. I'll leave it like that for now. Oh, look at that! Awesome! <laughs> See, this thing is really hot. Wait, what? Wait, is it producing germs as well? No, the water has zero germs. That's so weird. <laughs> it's 
so here we want to put some some of these oh my god so how much is uh, 501 seconds how long is a day I don't know It says that there's no oxygen there, but they seem to work just fine. <laughs> this guy's even got a suit that doesn't have any oxygen in it. <laughs> I don't know how this works. You know what, I'll just make one. I don't think we need any more than that. I'll put it there, so then they can reach it and I'll put a ladder here, because we might want to close that off entirely. Oh, it stopped. So it was on for about a day? Is that right? Let's go like that. Probably makes a little bit more sense. And we'll need... Are we just going to pump it out like that? I think we will. And we'll put another... Um... Liquid... Is it hydro sensor? Yeah, liquid pressure. We'll do like that as well. I just hope that this water doesn't... It seems to be... Good. Seems fine. We don't really want any of that to get into our water supply. But where do we want this to end up going? I don't know. Haven't decided that yet. Need to think about that. Also have some iron ore down there. Hydrogen with slime long? Slime long. Multiplies in slime and polluted oxygen. Killed by oxygen. Oxygen. That's it? Okay, so hydrogen? Dunno. Oh my god, it turned on again? We probably don't want to make things out of sandstone down here. Obsidian seems to be easier. I made that out of sandstone too. I need, I never ro normally check, so... This needs to be out of copper ore though. Unless... Do we have gold amalgam around here? <laughs> I think any way that we can reduce the amount of slime lung being produced is a good thing to do. So there's a lot of polluted oxygen up there. Probably want to get rid of that too. Yeah, I'll just chuck that there for now. Alright, you know what? We probably do need a bit of filtration through here because we want to make sure that the, all the carbon dioxide comes through and ends up at the bottom here. Damn, this thing keeps going. Alright, I was wrong about 500 seconds being a small amount of time. It looks like that's just going to go on forever. Damn. Chill out. I think these need to be regular, so then we can put in the fertilizer thing. That's a station, isn't it? Farm station. There you go. That's how it's going to be a room. These take like... Yeah, they take a long time to grow, so... We won't be able to live off that. We have some pinch of pepper nuts though. <laughs> oh man, that is very worrying. Oh, that's not polluted. That's good. Will these uh, fungal things actually become polluted? 
I don't think they will. No, because we'll we'll cook them as well, so they'll be fine. Ah uh, man. What to do, what to do? Need some food. I can't use the water because it's got food poisoning. And I need a chef if I want to cook something as well. How long are these going to take? That one's almost done. These few will be done soon. And these will be done in a day. Okay. I mean, we they don't need to eat for one day. The digger is doing all the work, but no one else is building. I don't know why the builder's not doing building. <laughs> Who is our builder? Brownie, come on mate. He doesn't want to come down here. It's probably because of this as well. Not getting enough oxygen in there. Even though we are getting oxygen. I hate this. It's so annoying. Every single time. It never works properly. Unless you just need that much oxygen. The slime lungs pretty much died, which is good. Oh my god, what the fuck? We have a puffed? They got in here. <laughs> Kill that thing. Let's see what that does. So that way at least this one should work. So look, now it's got two kilograms. Oh, of course he takes it. It's got three. This should be almost four. Yeah, there we go. So now that's filling up at least. And when that fills up, then this one will fill up. Yeah, great. Okay. So that's already much better. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't work in the first place. I don't know. Maybe it's just that sort of design for a checkpoint. Oh, for an exosuit dock doesn't work, but whatever. So we need to get this done as soon as possible. Damn, the research. Conveyor rail. Nice. I've never actually used that stuff. It'd be pretty cool, though. Nice. So yeah, that does seem to collect a lot of oxygen now. Which means that it'll be a while before this one actually collects it. And yeah, it fills up the suit first. Okay. So it's got a little bit. And okay, it collects a tiny bit. I think I understand it now. I think if this... I probably need to put this up here, actually. So then if it fills up, we empty it off into here. That's probably a good idea. So a Hydra sensor... Put it up there instead. Get some automation wiring down into there. Also, how much did we actually... We made a lot of this. <laughs> I forgot to turn that off. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. We have a lot of refined metal. So it needs to get over 75. And then it's usable. <laughs> Look at him, he comes with a fungal spore. Good job. Only one though.
How much slime do we actually have? About two tons. Okay. So now the atmosphere is going to halt that for a bit. Yo! Wait, what was that? Glass forge, bunker tile, bunker door. Okay. Yeah, do this one now. Nice. Do I have to dig out here? Might have to actually. So yeah, it has filled up a little bit. I don't know how much that can actually contain. Exosuit dock. Does it say how much it can hold? It doesn't say. I wonder. Because now it's filling up a fair bit. I think we can now re we can release it now because it can't go anywhere. Oh. Yeah, we really should release it. <laughs> or at least uh do like that. Oh my god. So she must have used it all. 68. Okay, it's almost done. Starvation. Shit. Well, there's food there. Also, I have an egg there. <laughs> what? <laughs> Need an egg cracker or something. egg cracker. I don't really want to put that in there. Let's just put it there. This food situation is really shit. Alright, there you go. That helps out a bit. So now you got to do that. We caught it off before it leaked too much. Now we just need to... I don't know if that's too much. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, maybe we can do that and it'll even it out enough to be able to use that or mop that. Alright. I'm thinking though, we probably need uh, a way of producing oxygen for this, a way that's separate from this system here, because either that or get rid of some of these. I could um, maybe remove that one and that one and see how it goes because like they're already over pressured if we do that then more of it will go down to this one like you can already see more is coming through wow we're very close to the end I know I say that every time we get a new technology but <laughs> it is true Uh, are we out of fungal spores? We're out. Alright. Uh, we could go into here. There's actually some mushrooms. But we would need another dupe to be able to cook them. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Uh, let's kill that guy. <laughs> we can eat that. Cool. Got a little bit of food now. Do we actually have enough slime to be able to maintain those? Yeah, we got a fair bit, actually. 
Alright, should I go into here and grab that stuff? I probably should. Look at this, we've got bunker doors and stuff now. Glass forges. Oh, we've got another dude there. So, in the wild, these take... Wow! They take age 30 cycles compared to like 7 in there. So, we're gonna want to dig it up. We'll dig that up too, the thimble reeds. And we'll just dig all of that. That's fine. It'll come out, but we've got all this. It'll build up over here. Uh, disease. Wow, it's just gone. Because <laughs> there's, there's no polluted oxygen. Over here, there is a little bit. But that's okay. Ah. Oh. I wonder if it'll collapse into there. See, look, this is now actually built up a lot of oxygen. So we might see it spilling over into there now. Good stuff. I wish, is there a way to make a timer so that these only allow oxygen through at a specific time? Hmm. Alright, well, we do need more copper. So... How about we get that? We accidentally used most of it, unfortunately. <laughs> Look at that, we've already got like 10 tons now. There was a lot up here. And as for consumable ore, oh shit, we've almost run out. Oh shit. Need some more coal. Wow. Where is the coal? Oh, that's not good. We're gonna run out. Luckily, I've still got that if I need to use it. Um, it's I reckon this has used a lot of it. Uh, I need to go down and find oil, but I don't know if I'll be, I'll be able to do it in time. We'll grab this. There's a tiny bit of coal here. Also take that. Damn. Everything's really... I don't know, I feel like we're on a timer now. <laughs> so how much can this hold? Maybe... 200 kilograms? Seems to be about the right amount. Oh, good job. <laughs> what was that? Hmm, these aren't going to grow now, because we need carbon dioxide. Oh, how am I going to get carbon dioxide in here? I think I need to replace these doors with airlocks. Because there's just too much um, carbon dioxide leaking out. It's probably even too late now. I'm kind of concerned about this. That's a lot of water and it's only going to get more. So in order to use that, we need to like... Where can we chuck this into? Uh, it has to go in there. Food shortage, yeah. 
Gee, that is so messy. Alright. Well, that'll be good for this, though. And we obviously need power, too. Alright. That is not so good. Alrighty guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you next time. Take care.